Now that you understand how this figure-based stuff works, let's learn how you're actually going to use it. If you see a base node that has nothing underneath, no figured base, then remember this blank space is actually an abbreviation for the figured base 5.3. So what you're going to do is write a note that is a third above the base note. You're also going to write a note that is a fifth above the base note. And in doing so, you see that we've just created a triad that's in root position. Likewise, if you see the figured base 6 underneath a base note, then remember that that is actually an abbreviation for the figured base 6, 3. So therefore, you're going to write a note that is a third above the base note, and you're also going to write a note that is a sixth above the base note. And in doing so, you've just created a first inversion chord. Finally, if you see the figured base 6, 4 underneath a base note, then you're going to write a note that is a fourth above the base note, and you're also going to write a note that is a sixth above the base note. And in doing so, you'll notice that we've just created a second inversion triad. Now, it's very important to realize that this figured base only tells you where to place the note. It doesn't tell you anything about the quality of the chord. I'm going to repeat that. It's very important to realize that the figured base only tells you where to write the notes. It doesn't tell you anything about the quality. So, we've created these triads in root position, first inversion, and second version, but we don't know what chord they are, we don't know what the quality are. Quality is, sorry. <laughs> Um, to find out that, you have to rely on that work we did a few lessons ago with inversions. If you take a look at this, <clears throat> it's in root position, so the root note is C. The notes above are C, E, and G. And therefore, you can find out that is a, it is a C major triad. Okay? But it's not always going to be major. If you look down at this one, okay, remember, we want to look for where that gap is to find the root note and the gap happens to be here. The root note is D. The other notes are F and A, and when we write it out like that, we can see that it's actually a D minor chord. So, we've used the figure base to actually create a D minor chord that's in first inversion. Likewise, if you look down at this one here, okay, we look at that gap, that interval of a fourth, and the the root note turns out to be B. Okay. The other notes in that chord are D and F. And if you look at that, then it's actually a B diminished chord. And it's a B diminished chord in second inversion. Okay. So once again, the figured bass tells you where to write the notes, but it doesn't tell you anything about the chord. To do that, you have to go through this process that we've just discussed. Do a little bit of work with this, and then we'll talk more about figured base in the next lesson.